Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 Fishing Survival. And my name is Vaughn, and I think I may have already said that, so I apologize if I did. This is Menko, and today we are going to make his dreams come true. He's going to make some, he's going to meet some ladies, he's going to invite them over, he's going to chit chat with them. Last episode, he called the matchmaker, and look at me, poor Lindsay, he's not doing so well. Last episode, we called the matchmaker over, and she matched him up with Nancy. Uh, as you can see in his little thingamabob over here, that's Nancy. He's got two two lightning bolts with her. Very nice chemistry. He's making friends now with Danene, and I want to invite her over, hopefully, if she'll come over, and see. Sure, bring your friend over. See what kind of chemistry they have together in person. Also, last episode, Mike became friends with Nathan, so he's very close now to reaching his 20 best friends simultaneously. Very, very soon, he shall reach that goal. But we got to keep an eye out for Danene. There, nope, that's not her. That is not her. That may be her friend that she brought over. That is a Tamara? It does not look like a Tamara from here. Is that a Tamara with the, with the Mohawk? It is indeed a tomorrow with a mohawk. All right, tomorrow you go, girl. You go, girl, with your mohawk and pink green apron thing. All right, wait, is Danae here too? Is she out there? Did you just come by yourself? There she is. Oh, Danae is pretty cute. Greet Danae. Danae. Danae looks like she's been tanning a bit. Danae, this uh, this may be Danae's lesbian girlfriend. Possibly not. Possibly not. But I could see it happening. I could see it happening for sure. But let's go see. I mean, they might not find each other attractive at all. Don't be noogied by your brother. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm going to flirt. I'm going to check you out and see what, what our, my reaction to you is. Nope. See, he does not think she's hot. Does he think she's hot? Just out of curiosity. Just curious. Oh, he very well may. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, he's got like a negative bolt with her, but he's got two bolts with her. Wow. Unexpected. Oh, you look so good in your makeup. You're so pretty. Wow. Wow. Well, I don't want to take... Uh, I don't want to take Danene's girlfriend away from her. So, although Mike... Mango... Mango. Although Mango does think she's attractive, I don't think that these are going to be our future future brides. We'll use we'll stay with Nancy in the meantime. Oh my god, Almond, grow up. Stop being a twelve year old. She would supposed to be an adult now. Okay. We also have in our family Nerissa. So let's call Nerissa and up that family or that relationship. Just in case, so that we have we cover our bases. We want to give my mango, mango. We want to give mango a fair chance to look at and meet all of the ladies appropriate for him. Get leftovers. Leave your brother alone. Stop being obnoxiously obnoxious. So let's let's talk to Nerissa for a little bit. She probably won't come over just yet, so we won't invite her yet. You can finish that off. What is Lindsay doing? I bet Lindsay's doing something stupid right now. Was I right or was I right? She, I was right. Stop doing stupid stuff. Why don't you serve dinner some hamburgers? Sounds like a good thing to burn the house down with. And Mike, how you doing over there? You're totally fine. I don't even have to worry about you. You'd basically take care of yourself. Mango, how's your relationship with Nan or what's her name? Nerissa? How is that? How is that shaping up? Fifteen. I don't know if that's enough. Let's try. Let's try calling her. Try inviting her over. See if it works. Did you burn those burgers? It looks like you burned those burgers. Serve. Fine. Uh, Nerissa? Yes? Invite over. Come on, Nerissa! <laughs> nope. Oops, where did I just click? Call Sim. That's fine. Thought I clicked something else. We're good. Call Nerissa. Just talk. Great. 
Omen is like so desperate for attention. Like nobody wants to deal with you. Just go away. Why did I ever give you two children? Go study some cooking for the rest of your life. Mike, you're totally fine. You totally burned those burgers, didn't you? You're so unhappy. You're like vomiting into your mouth as you eat them. And you know what? When you finish that one, I'm going to make you eat this one too. Because it doesn't fill you up enough otherwise. Good job, woman. Hey, Mango, is Mike available to talk? Actually, you know what? Yes, he is. To you, Justice, he can talk. Uh, you know what? Just clean up everything, because I don't want you to eat any of this nasty stuff again. Good job. Let's just clean that up. Let's put that away. Is Mike on the phone with this guy? Great. Best news all day. Oh, no, I don't want to go out with you, though. I have a feeling that you want something that I don't want to give you. Um, what is our relationship with her now? You're not the guy that I want. There it is. 25. Okay, so that should be enough to talk, to invite her over, but it's probably too late now. So we'll do that in the morning. In the meantime, you can, I guess, work out. Sure, do whatever you want. Mike is hungry. He is eating. Is that one of the nasty burgers? It's one of the nasty burned burgers, isn't it? Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Still, you've come a long way. You've come a long way. You are not ordering Chinese nasty food and, and being pathetic. Oh, there goes Man Mango. Just reached a really good level. Ooh, Mango wants to maximize the body skill. Well, aren't you special? But we're not going to let you do that. We're going to make you go to sleep first. And Mike? Ah, uh, Mike. Why don't you check your email? You should be very close to be best friends with Justice. Where are you? There you are. 28. Oh, you're not even... You're not close. I'm sorry. Chat with... Hey, you could chat to Danae. I don't think you've met her. That should roll over your want for Danae for meeting someone new. Aw, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Kind of creepy, though. Don't talk to teenager, teenage girls online. Kind of weird. Pepper? Pepper? <sighs> Someday. Someday. Pepper will come to me. But today is not that day. Anyway, onward and upward. People are kind of doing nothing, but that's fine. Mike, go to bed. Almond, you should probably go to bed too. Yes, you should so go to bed. Use that. Pee in there. Go to bed. And I will bring you guys back when they all wake up. Good morning, Sim Universe. And Almond is awake. Or Mango is awake. Almond is not. Mango... Everybody's hungry, though, so serve breakfast. Why don't you make some pancakes for your family? Be be a productive member of society. Mike and Lindsay are also awake. Lindsay needs to pee, and so does Mike. It's that thing in the morning, man, you, that, that rush for the toilet where you're so, so freaking happy that you have two toilets in your house. And the school bus is also going to arrive, so the romancing of Nerissa will have to wait until after school. You are still asleep. Wake up, buddy. You've got a bus coming soon, and you need to get ready for work, or school, or whatever. Mike, stop it. Why don't you call Justice before work, see if he's around. Call Sim. In fact, you could even invite him over for once, possibly. The bus is here, so the game slows down, so that I know that it's happening. You are here. Yes. Perfect. Yes, sure, bring your friend, I don't care. The more the merrier. Lindsay? You stink. Go shower. Oh gosh, the boys need to go to school. Go to school. Go to school. For some reason, Mango doesn't want to go to actual school. Uh, so you can just walk to school. That's fine. There you go. Everybody's going to get there in time. It's fine. Put leftovers away. Oh, is that Justice? That Oh, that must be Justice's friend. He looks kind of like Captain Kirk, doesn't he? Curtis Ryan. Now I'm assuming that this is Justice's boyfriend. <laughs> Just keep assuming everybody's gay. It's fine. Nothing wrong with being gay. Hello. Just wave your hand at me. Uh, why did I invite you over? Oh, just to become best friends with you. Hi. I have a ploy in life. I don't really like you. I just want to be best friends with you. This is the thing. Like, I do have multiple best friends, but the very word best friend implies one. That there is one friend that is the best of all of your friends. That he is or she is the number one best person. And, 
Although I have t about three. I think I have three people that I would consider best friends. Like, it's still not 20. Like, 20 best friends seems really excessive, Mike. Why would you... What What do you need 20 best friends for? How do you... How do you even... Like, you can't even become... I feel like by the time you reach 20, like, there's just no way that you can maintain that. Like, it's just not genuine anymore. Like, 20 friends, sure, but... 20 best friends? It just seems excessive. Well, whatever. He's here now. Uh, you know what? You need to finish your painting. Let's see how it's looking. So far, so good? Oh, well, yeah. Looking nice so far. Very nice. Anyway, I will be right back. Seamless transition! So it's been super hot today. It was 104 degrees today, which in Celsius is 40 degrees. So it's really freaking hot. No, I do not want to hang out with you. Go away. And um, although it's late and dark and, and the sun has set now, and that is my squeaky chair in the background, squeaking like a squeaker. Sorry about that. Uh-oh. A co-worker recently got married, and Mango, a co-worker, Ma Mango doesn't have a job, wants to give a little something to help celebrate. Mango has some pretty nice nectar that he's been saving for a special occasion. On the other hand, his co-worker might not appreciate the nectar. Mango could just give them a blender off of their registry. Which one should he choose? Look, if your friend... Look, if you've got Mango... Not Mango. If your name is Mango, and you've got nectar, okay, freaking awesome nectar, and your friend does not appreciate you giving them nectar for a wedding present, then you don't need to be friends with that person, okay? That's just the way that it is. This is like the friendship test. Like, this is true of anyone, I think, in the world, but especially if your friend is named Mango... You should expect bottles of nectar as wedding presents. So this is just going to determine whether or not you should be friends with this. A wedding is a pretty special event, so Mango decides to give them the bottle of nectar. His co-worker is very pleased to receive it, and the two talk about different nectars for a while before his co-worker hands him a membership to a secret location. Aww, yeah, but I'm really confused about Mango having a job. He, he does not have a job. He does not have a job. <laughs> it's very strange. This game is very strange sometimes. But yeah, I was going to say, uh, even though it's nighttime and dark and the sun has set, it is still uh, 79 degrees, which is almost 80 degrees, which in Celsius is like 26 degrees. So freaking hot. So I'm dripping like sweat. No, I don't want to bring Puck over. It's very warm. Uh, Justice is totally jamming it out. Mango wants to also bring Mercutio home. I don't want to bring anyone home. Why don't we... I don't want to kiss this guy. Just chat. Just chat. Okay, move faster. Oh, you've got homework to do. You've both got homework to do. Do your homework. Um, did your homework just disappear? Or? This game, you guys, think it's a little glitchy sometimes. Oh, the painting is already done? Fantastic. Good job, Lindsay. But yeah, so needless to say, I am sweaty and gross. And even though it's the middle of the night, I am still dri Oh, hey, look at that wall. That wall needs to be painted for sure. Wow. Delete that. There we go. What a nice change that is. And let's put a nice frame on it. Let's try the dark wood frame. Yeah, it looks mighty nice. There's our founder, Mike Combs. He's pretty handsome. He's come a long way. You can tell that he's got money now with his J-Rocker hairstyle and his smooth, unblemished skin and his designer clothes. What a guy. What a guy. Good job, Lindsay. And you guys are doing... Oh, you're going to the bathroom. Okay, Mike, you need to just, like, hang out with this dude. Talk. Hang out. Perfect. Oh, you're kind of hungry, though. Well, you are friends with him, at least. Lindsay, why don't you... Uh, get leftovers. Do we have some decent leftovers to get? Because Mike is kind of hungry. Sure. Grilled cheese sandwiches will make Mike very happy. Oh, there's not enough for everyone, though. Grab a plate. Almond, how you doing? You're fine. You still got to pee. Go over there. Mango, how you doing? You know what? It's time for you to call what's-her-face up. Call Sim. What is... What is... Is she... She's at 25. She should be willing to come over now. She's kind of cute. This could be the one. If it's not Nancy, it could be... could be Nerissa. Oh, I didn't ask her to come over. Call Sim. Hang up with her. This, this is why The Sims is dumb. You have to hang up the phone and call her back in order to invite her over. Ah, uh, The Sims. 
invite over. I can play the game. I am a genius. If my skill was... Okay, wow. Okay, apparently she does not want to talk to us. You better back. Call again. Apparently we're going to have to do a lot of phoning. This is back in the days before cell phones were so popular. You can't text her. You can only talk to her on the phone. Mike, how you doing? You're still hungry. Why don't you get some... Why don't you serve dinner? Wow. You have so many fish in you that you could cook all of them. But no. No, 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 no. Take a bath. How are we doing with justice here? Is he... Is he... Having a good time? Stinkily running back and forth in the living room? Are you trapped in there forever now? Is Mike available to talk? No, he's not. I think this dude is just stupidly trapped in here because of this table. Look, we'll put the table in this room. Everybody will be much happier that way. I'm sorry you're so dumb. Call Sim again. I really want her to come over. What's his relationship with her now? 32, come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Can I answer the phone? There we go. Please come over this time. <sighs> Still nothing. It looks like it may end up being the other girl just because this one's being so dang difficult. Oh, and now she's not even home. Fine! Well, no. Next episode, we'll invite her over. Uh, I guess you could grab some food. Mike is painting. Lindsay went to sleep. Almond is being a total derp. Why don't you eat some food? Swear, I just want to let... Oh, Almond just got into shape. Good job, Almond. Bravo. Almond looks like a total jock, doesn't he? I don't know why. Maybe we should give him, like, a total jock haircut. He's, like, too... Too not jocky right now. But I don't know. We'll worry about that in the next episode, too. I think... Uh, my timing is a little off because of I had, like, a, a quick delay where I had to pause and come back and it reset the recording and everything. So hopefully... Uh, God, these fucking brothers. Hopefully everything is, this is going to be a decent length episode. I think it will be. I think everything is good. So we didn't get as much progress done today as I would have liked, but we did pretty good. Mike, I guess I'll let you paint. You can't sell it, but you might as well paint it. And you're done. What do you want to max out your skill in the body skill? Just sure. You can, you can work out. And I guess that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!